Baruch Hashem. Yesterday we were talking about a very important concept to to reach the truth, to find the inner truth inside of ourselves, and this is something very important. A lot of people they want to to reach out to the truth, they want to understand how to serve Hashem, they want to commit themselves to Hashem and they don't know how to do it and so and then they're going and, and, and trying to reach out to rabbis or to, to teachers, coaches, whatever, people that are claiming to hold the truth and um, so those souls, those people try to to imitate, to become like those rabbis, like those guides, like those teachers. And they're not able to find the truth of their own souls through that effort. And after one year, two years of being religious and trying to work on yourself and improving yourself and learning some Torah and mitzvot and halachot and rules and 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 re-educating yourself through a, a, a new teacher, a new, new uh, list of guidings and, and advice and, and obligations, you find yourself even more lost and and disconnected from from your soul and it's a very very dangerous fragile sensitive process of of a person to become spiritual really to connect himself to to the roots of his soul to his real spiritual being and we need to understand that uh, that we need people that have responsibilities, people that have the power to guide and to teach people, they need to put their mind into that responsibility that we have for our followers. And we must give them the tools to really connect themselves to the roots of their own souls and not just to, to imitate rabbis and to become religious and to it's, if it's not going to give you the right answer, if it's not going to answer your questions, if it's not going to bring you to your inner connection to the Creator, so it's not right. So, yesterday we were talking about it a little bit, and I wanted to, to make it a little bit even clearer today, hopefully. I said yesterday that a person, he is not really afraid when he's confronting fears or stress or angers. So he's not really confronting the enemies that he imagined to himself that are about to attack him. If it's diseases, sicknesses, weaknesses, poverty, physical enemies, people, thieves, murderers, rapists, I don't know what. All of those enemies that he's afraid of are not really the ones that he is afraid of. Just he really afraid of the fear itself. Now if I would put him in a situation that he's now standing in front of a thief, he wouldn't be so scared as he is sitting alone at night thinking about that thief that might come. With a thief, he would he would he, he he would know exactly what, what what to do. He would he would fight with him. He would he would struggle with him. He would throw things. He 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 would do something. But the fear is paralyzing him, and he can sit terrified, free, frozen in his house, in his living room. I can give that example. You're afraid not to have the money to pay the the electricity bill. It's not that you're afraid to sit in darkness. You can turn off the light right now and not use the electricity for the next couple of days and it will not going to harm you. It's not going to hurt you. 
You're not really afraid of the fact that you are not going to have electricity. You're afraid of that feeling inside of you that maybe I really cannot bring money. Maybe I'm not, maybe Hashem will not going to help me. You're afraid of those thoughts and you're afraid of dealing with those fears. So this is why you're making sure to pay the bills on time and to have enough money and never to stuck without money and always to know and to make sure and all of the guarantees that you... Because you don't want to... F you're afraid of that feeling of your lack of trust in Hashem. So that's your enemy. Your enemy is your fear and not the enemy itself. And then yesterday night, Hashem Yidvarach, that is so kind, and He's using me to help you, and how, how I'm going to tell you my secret. Who is a wise person? The one that got an experience in life. He's, if you want to, to, to develop your business, and you want to consult with a professional, so you're going to go talk to a person that opened few businesses in his life, and he made a lot of money, and... With him you're going to consult. You're not going to go and consult with a homeless on how to buy a house. right? He's a, a, a bankrupt person. You're not going to go and ask him how, how, what he suggests you to do. It, it, that's not what you do. You go and ask a person with shalom bayit, with peace in his house, how he is succeeding, pleasing and making his wife happy. You're not going to go to a divorced person and ask advice on shalom bayit. For sure he's not the right one for that. So, if, if I'm begging to Hashem Barach all of the time to give me the right answer, like it's written on Shlomo HaMelech, that Shlomo HaMelech, the King Shlomo, he was asking Hashem Barach, please give me wisdom that I will have the ability to judge your people with justice. That I will have the wisdom to know how to judge them, right? So... Because that you asked, because that Shlomo HaMelech asked from Hashem Yidbarach to have that merit to help the people. So Hashem Yidbarach gave him wisdom that was beyond the people level in that generation. He was the most, the wisest person of all of, of people in his generation. Why? Because he asked it for a purpose, to help the children. So, similar to him, I'm asking to Hashem Yidbarach all of the time to teach me what, what, what to teach, give me the wisdom, so because it, I need to have the, the, the experience in life, so Hashem is shooting me on a daily basis to, to the depths of, of, of darkness to understand what the right advice, how to climb up from those depths. So every day you see me smiling and shining in the morning, and then I have all day long to go down and then to heal myself at night and then to come back again shiny in the morning with a new advice for you for tomorrow. So, <laughs> Hashem is helping me every night to go into the depths of my soul to confront my biggest fears, my, my biggest shames, my biggest insultings, my biggest uh, difficulties that I will come up with the advice and not to give up in those tests and, and not to back off from those fears and, 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 and to learn how to deal with those that I'm going to come up tomorrow morning with a good advice, chizuk for you too. Oh, such amazing lesson. Thank you, Arab. So inspiring. And you can never imagine what happens with me from one one clock when I finish the class here until I'm coming again at 12 tomorrow to give you the next one. You can never believe how much a person can go through in 24 hours. So Hashem Bach is very kind to help. And yesterday night he helped me to realize something very deep. That really all of our memories from the past are just a bunch of lies that we're afraid of or that we desire to come back to but they don't hold in reality